Thanks for tuning in to Sit Records 1. Uh, once again, welcome back, welcome back. So here's the video that some has requested about how to record on a CD or DVD without a DVD burner or recorder. So let's get right into it. Everything is homemade. So you don't have to go out and buy anything all fancy or anything like that. This right here I have uh, is a mic stable, a piece of a mic stabilizer that I had had to one of my old microphones. One long piece of wire. Just one piece of metal with a hole in it. Put the piece of metal on there like that. Turn it through there like that. Bend it. You don't want it to fall off. What you're making right now is a homemade microphone. So I'm going to take this side here. This is too much wire for this side. You don't want it to touch. Get some hot glue. Like I say, you know, if you don't have these items, don't worry about it. Just make what you can. Put the hot glue on there like that. Alright, there we go. Now what you want to do, poke a hole in the bottom. Oh, almost poked the whole bottom out, right? So I'm gonna take this end and pretty much bring it out of the bottom of the cup. Like that. Your extra wire that you have, you can just put it inside the cup with the mic. piece of potato chip bag and put it inside underneath your coil like that now what you want to do is set this one to the side you want to come over here what I have here is the inside of a CD spool this is very important to have so hopefully your spool came with one of these right here so what you're going to do is take the end of this Take your first wire and turn it to the left. Wrap it around the middle spool here to the left. Glue it down. Let it dry. Now you take your other one and you turn it to the right on top of that one. Now once that has dried, set it down. Take your black spool here. You want to set it down on top. You take your blank CD and you set it down on top. Take your plastic top, put it on top. Turn it and lock it. Now take your CD spool, flip it over. Now I've used a 9 volt battery, that's what I use for mine. So now what you want to do is take your 9 volt battery set it to the side. Here I have an extra piece of wire. So now what you want to do is take these two ends, twist it real good on the end. Take them two like that, put, put them together like this. Don't twist them, leave them separate. Now what you want to do is you want to put them down in the center. See my two fingers? Set them down in the center of the spool. Like that. Here I have another piece of potato chip wrap. So you want to stuff it down in the middle. You want to take a piece of tape. And tape it off. So you want to take one and wrap it around the negative and one around the positive. So now that you got your negative and positive in there, you want to take your negative or your positive and you want to make one of them kind of loose at the top of the tape. So when you press down, it's kind of activating it as a switch on the top of the battery. 
All right, test your mic out. Let's test it here. Check, check, two up, two, check, check, two up. All right, let's set it down. Now to play it back, what you do is you turn your lid, flip the CD upside down, put your lid back on top, take your speaker, now your speaker is vice versa, it's a speaker and the mic. So now you go over here to your battery and you switch sides from the top, turn them over, set this one up here on top of the positive, and you set this one up here on top of the negative. So now this one's on the negative, this is this one's gonna be your switch again. So now once you hit the the negative button, it'll play back as a speaker. So watch. Check, check, two up, two, check, check, two up. Just like that, and that's how you play them back. You flip them over to play them back. You flip it over on this side to play them back. And this side is to record. Hey, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and drop those comments at the same time. And if you have any more suggestions on other videos, please drop those comments and let me know.